Hey everybody, this is our video solution to problem 4 from quiz 14, spring 2023, math 302 at Cal State Fullerton. And this problem, we are going to be utilizing Lagrange's theorem in order to determine the possible orders of subgroups of a group G of order 56. Okay, so remember the order of a group is the cardinality of the group. So, uh, just so the quick recollection here, what is Lagrange's theorem telling us? So Lagrange's theorem is applying in the case of a finite group. So if G is a finite group, so it has a finite cardinality, and H is a subgroup of G, then the cardinality of H has to divide the cardinality of G, right? Or the order of H has to divide the order of G. So in our case, the order of G is equal to 56. And so if we're going to have a subgroup, it's going to have to have an order that divides 56. So the possible subgroup orders are, well, of course, there's one. And we even know such a, a subgroup exists. And let's see. Well, it's, sometimes it's easier to work sort of on the outsides and then work your way in. So we have one and, I don't know, 56, right? Uh, then we have two and 28. Uh, three does not go into 56, uh, but four does. Four goes in, uh, what is that, uh, 14 times. Okay, um, let's see, five does not go in, six does not go in, seven does go in, and it's seven times eight. And so that's it. Right? We've, we've worked our way towards the middle. So these are the only possible orders of subgroups that we'd have because of Lagrange's theorem. All right, that's the rest of this quiz. So uh, we will see you next time.